Welcome back, Horlings, to another Game Hoarder production episode of Echelon Book One. Really quickly, want to give a big shout out to subscriber Markalot, who just turned me on to the fact that you can quick slot spells. All you do is pick your spell, pick the level, and then before you click OK, you hold down number one through zero. You know, one through nine and ten, and one through zero, you guys understand. You click OK, and you can see down here that now we can alternate between spells. So I've already I've already assigned Divine Heal to number two, Fire Dart level six to number one, and yeah, we can toggle between the two. We can assign up to ten spells. So fucking mark a lot. Thank you so much. That's a huge fucking tip. Sucks that I'm just learning it now, but hey, better late than never. We're in Vela. Let's go find our brother. Vela's been overrun by goblins, so we're going to be in getting into some battles here. You're entering the town of Vela. A ghostly fog hangs in the air and most of the streets appear to be flooded with water. On this main avenue entering the town, banners displaying the Goblin Crest are nailed with makeshift walls, built from the ruins of once bustling shops. You also see Goblin Totems, long poles adorned with human skulls. These are territorial signs. This area belongs to the Goblins now. The most dreaded enemy in the game, the Torax. There are traps here. I don't have a disarm trap spell, but... There's another trap. Fucking these guys up. Goblin bomb thugs. What else you got for me? Their skin too. Eat my shoe. If 
fine porcelain cup. That's odd. Never seen that before. Brewmaster ring! Fuck yeah! We did it, folks. We got double brewmaster rings. So what we can do now, let's do, let's save. I want to test something here. First of all, equip these motherfuckers. This will give us alchemy 15. Now what we want to do is let's... Ectoplasm, amulet, and what else do we need? It's ectoplasm. Uh, let me look at my cheat sheet. So for armor, it's ectoplasm and spider silk. But I don't know if this is going to count. Ah! Nope, it doesn't count. And it hurts you. However, I think this might be the best belt in the game for us. So what we could do is we can... We can give that... Well, I didn't put the fucking rings on because I'm a goddamn moron. Let me double check something. I must have reloaded before I bought that extra ectoplasm. But anyways, this, as far as I can tell, this is supposed to be the best belt that I can get for this build. So we might as well bless it. So again. And we can actually bless the belt. Gives it a plus three armor rating. We can do that with all of our best, all of the best, once we get the best pieces of armor for our mage, and we have ectoplasm and spider silk, we can add that plus three armor rating to it, which is going to help. So that's why we want both those brewmaster rings. We could have added plus three to the sword as well, which might be helpful as well. But I don't know. You gotta be able to hit with the fucking thing first. To bless the sword, we're gonna need um, ectoplasm and serpent venom. That'll add to damage. I believe we can also do ectoplasm and mercury to add to hit. But I'm not sure if we can do both. But we're certainly gonna try. Uh, the hat, we're looking for the Grandmaster Wizard hat. We have the Mana Cash Amulet, but we can't bless that. Uh, the Ring of the Magi, which gives us plus 20 mana. There's also a Priest Cloak, which will give us plus 3 Divination, plus 2 Wisdom. Uh, and Healer Sandals, which will give us plus 2 Divination. Uh, we can, yeah, we can buff those up with the armor rating. If it already doesn't come with it, that is. Anyways, let's keep going. We want to get that armor rating up as high as we can because, as you can see, there are instances we where we come into close combat. Trying to sneak around to this area first. Ugh! Ouch. Um, let's air shield. That'll teach those cocksuckers a lesson. Fire dart. Three is two. I'm going to do divine heal. Four is zero. Ah. 
Took no damage, that's some bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with that. It's time to chug one of our big mana potions. enemy it's air shield dude <sighs> how the fuck are these guys coming I believe that's the Torax. That's not good.
trying to figure out how this shit's working because now it's. This is heavy duty, man. some difficult shit right there. These guys are just popping out of fucking nowhere. Not time to come here yet? Okay, we're gonna push them off the CD. That's fucking gay as fuck, dude. point the only thing I can think to do is to retreat and heal. There shouldn't be any goblin interference, right? Not not outside of here. Not at all. Okay. I think we're gonna, we're gonna abandon the hope of going to Vela right now. Except fuck, I got that brewmaster ring. We're just gonna need to retreat out of here. But 
then we won't know if my brother's been killed. So no, we have to go. We have to face the fire. Dumbass. The reason why I want to do this here and now is because I need to find out if our brother is fucked or not. Which I don't see how he would be because apparently he's locked up. Shouldn't be Fireball 6, that should be Fire Dart 6. And 3. And that should be Divine Heal 4, okay. So yeah, we gotta get past that big bad Torox. Which is basically a Minotaur. Oh, if you think I'm not going to exploit your ass now? After the pain you've caused me? I guess archers maybe only drop arrows? I'm not fucking interested in arrows, though. This building is a place of suffering and nightmares. Devices of torture lay about, as do human bones and scraps of clothing. A rancid cauldron of boiled down fat adds a putrid stench to the air. Amid this horror, you see a man hanging from the rack. He seems to still be alive. You see a beaten and bloodied man hanging from a rack device. As you approach him, he slowly lifts his head tries to look at you. 
His eyes are mostly swollen shut, but he manages to force them open enough to catch a glimpse of your face. Brother? Brother, is, is that you? Yes, it is me. I drank a serum and lost my memory, but I left myself a note to find you. Brother, you shouldn't have written yourself a note. We discussed the dangers of your handwriting. What if they find you? The man moans quietly. His arms are pulled tight, and it looks as if his entire weight is supported by the tooth steel bands around his wrist. There appears to be no way of opening the seamless manacles. You surmise that the severing of the arms is the only way a detainee can be released from such a horrible device. Brother, I wish our final meeting could have been under other circumstances. But before life escapes me, I must tell you what I've heard the goblins talking about. I'm listening. What have you heard? The goblins are scheming something big. I've heard them speak of taking over all Thermor. They speak of a goblin shaman named Gramok. He has taken control of the Chancellor's mind, which is why Thermor is undefended. He takes a deep breath and gnashes teeth, forcing himself to ignore the pain that it must be unbearable. Brother, they will soon find you. Whether you possess the crux or not, they are going to find you and your fate will be the same as mine. There is little time left. The goblins speak of destroying Shadowmirk, the mage citadel to the north. There's a wizard who resides there named Urubor. They fear him and want him eliminated. Go to Shadowmirk and find Urubor. Tell him what I've told you. If Shadowmirk fails, so shall the remainder of Thermor. What of the crux of ages? What are they saying about it? He coughs up blood which drips from his chin. The, the crux, please, brother, say not another word. If you possess it, do not tell me. Anything you say to me may be heard by Gromach. If you do have it, keep it close to you, for it may offer some sort of protection. It was the removal of the crux from the bastion spire that allowed Gromach to gain control of the Chancellor's mind. I do not know what else to tell you of it. Perhaps you can seek Urador's advice on that matter, but only if you trust him. Now, there is one more thing I must ask of you, brother. What would you have of me? End my life. I, I am broken. Even with the most powerful of medicines, I cannot recover from this. I will be dead in a few hours. Please do not allow me to suffer that long. You notice a single tear run down your brother's face, creating a clean path through the blood, sweat, and dirt. I am sorry. You do not remember me, brother, but I am glad. The amnesia will spare you of the pain of my passing. He lowers his head and takes a long, slow breath. I will do this for you. Goodbye, brother. Looking around, you spot a bent stiletto on the floor nearby. You pick it up and carefully place the tip of the weapon between two ribs exposed through an opening in your brother's shirt. With a steady hand, you quickly push deep the thin blade until you feel it pierce his heart. He makes nary a sound. You lean against him, careful not to look into his eyes, lest you regret your actions, until you feel his body fall limp against the rack. He is dead, but you have gained experience, and that's all that matters. All right, good. We can kind of breathe a sigh of relief. Apparently there was some kind of bug where he could be dead when you get here or somehow these other creatures kill him. I don't know because the portcullis is locked. The creatures don't open the gate. Fuck if I know, but it is a known issue. Here's the other known issue. There's a big fucking minotaur outside and I have 21 mana points. The contents of this pot are cold. You can see skulls and various body parts floating in the thick and oily fat. Fuck you, skeleton! He's pissed. Let's get it on.
legendary swordsman. The book talks in depth about the elements of swordmanship, weapon terminology, proper body postures, offensive and defensive maneuvers, and detailed analysis of legendary sword fights. By the end of the book, you know a great deal more about swordmanship than you did before. Which is good, because there's a giant minotaur on your ass. So yeah, now we have our cleaving, or excuse me, our swords up to seven. God damn it, I did not mean to do that. Ah! Stop me, you asshole. Him resisting fire damage is annoying as shit! better run fucker cuz you know what I'm going to do You better run Goldilocks You're not saving. I'm getting my fucking double XP for your ass. That's right. Fuck you, Torax. Fuck you! And I'm gonna sleep in the middle of your shitty fucking goblin village. Take a dump everywhere. Feeling fucking groovy. Alright, I went ahead and threw on the recurve longbow because it does a base damage of six. And my birch shortbow only does a base damage of one plus two. So I'm assuming this is better, but not that we use bows a lot. Especially when we only have a few arrows left. I guess I could pick these up and stop whining. Better than nothing.
All right, now we can finish exploring this town with a little bit more ease. Take a, a, a breath of relief. Mortally poisoned? Fuck that. Might go out that way. So it can have something in it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be worth the shit. How about some mandrake root? I'll take that. I'll take the healing elixir too. I will settle. God damn it. Whoa! What's the rope of the healer? Take that too, I can sell it. I got two of them now. So mine's plus three. Weapon fragments is all that's in there, and it's trapped. Dungeon fever. Yeah, it's just weapon fragments, not worth opening. Leather skin, do I have that? I do. But I can sell it. Oh no, the bow's too heavy as well. So we do want to stick with the lighter bow.
get fucked. Drink one to keep shit moving. God damn it! Resist toxins. No shit, that's what I need. I'm gonna sell it, I'm not gonna wear it. Good money. Somebody ended their life. Get high up on that uh, encumbrance chart there. Might need to make a town run and come back, to be honest. There's not a whole lot more to this town, fortunately. What's left of it. Peace flew up and hit you in the eye. I haven't seen that happen yet. That'll give us the Predator Sight spell. We'll take it. for it. Whoa, what the fuck happened to my sword, dude? Did I break it on that fucking barrel? I think I did. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking stupid, man.
That is unfucking believable. And I already saved it. I guess there's a chance you can break your, your fucking weapon? Good thing I'm a, a magic user. We just we just broke the best uh, best weapon in the game on a barrel apparently. So it's that or reload to save my sword. I don't know if it's even worth it. That's pretty disappointing either way. I'm just gonna say fuck it. Wait, I went through all that legendary swordsman shit to have it. God, that's fucking irritating. Son of a bitch. Ah, and I didn't make a, a backup fucking save. All my backup saves are back here. And I lost it on a fucking goddamn wooden barrel. That is the gayest, dumbest fucking shit I've ever fucking seen. Wow, that's fucking stupid. Didn't even notice it. Well, I feel like I'm going to replay it and get my sword back because uh, I like having my sword, so... That means we gotta go through all this shit again though. Brewmaster now, nah, fuck it. Fuck that sword. We're gonna we're gonna have to just deal with something else. Live and learn. Live and learn, baby. Best sword in the game gone. The show goes on. Fuck it. We'll get another good sword. One that doesn't weigh 12 pounds. I'm not redoing all that shit though. Fuck that. Fire not work all of a sudden? Live and learn, people. <laughs> watch, watch using your weapons on barrels. At least they're still good with swords. map has been has proved to be very challenging I'm gonna wait here for a second and get lots of mana back
Well, now you get to say Game Hoarder lost the best sword in the game on a barrel. Proving that he does not belong... Has, has He has no business having a fucking sword in the first place. I'm actually more mad because I wanted to sell it for 2,700 gold. Why it does that? It's automatically putting spell. I'm not holding down that. To, yeah, it doesn't make any fucking sense. By mortal, mortal poison, mortally wounding poison. Too weak. That's a fucking crazy poison. Resisted the effects. There we go. Nagabite. Deadly fucking spell for sure. Really? Holy shit. Now we're talking. We have lost our sword, but we're going to make a lot of gold off this trip. Those are actually light. That's light armor. So we can put those on. Help with our armor rating at least. Let's 
Still wearing commoner pants. I've just been selling everything, that's why. And a traveler's shirt. We could use some adamantine or adamantine armor and leggings, I guess. But again, we're looking for stuff that helps with us being a mage. Tough break on losing that sword. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason it's automatically assigning whatever I do here to one. Automatically. So, I guess we want to not assign shit to one. Mandrake root. Acid. Fuck yeah. I didn't have my fucking ring on, you fucking dipshit. Got a goblin warlord here.
This is the last part of this area, I believe. I mean, we still have some more we can explore, but this is the last part in town that we have to get treasure. I think after this we will warp back to town and cry about losing the best sword in the game. And then say welcome to Echelon Book 1. Where you need to make lots of backup saves. Fuck you! Give me that gold goblin key, bitch! Oh, thinking cap. Plus two intelligence. I already got one. Fuck me running. <laughs> I got all I got all fucking excited. Alright, well, at least we got our brother alive. Well, we found him alive, now he's dead. But we got the quest to go to Shadow Merc. And we got the Brewmaster Ring, which was huge. And we found a lot of other stuff that's going to give us some money, so let's go ahead and head back to Blackwater. Did we lose the best sword in the game? I think so. Maybe we'll find something close, but again, it really doesn't matter. We're not fighters. We're going to take all your money. I'm really butt hurt. At least I got my adamantine dagger that I can wield. You know. It only does six less base damage. No big fucking deal. You know what? Fuck this bow, too. I'm not gonna worry at all about strength now. I'm pissed off. Hey, we got a lot of gold though, so if we do come across shit that we want to buy, or go train or whatever, we're good to go. We need we need a, a lightweight sword is what we need, like an adamantine sword. That might be good for us. might not weigh too much. We can actually wield it without having to uh, toggle between weapons.
Should at this point give me stone skin. Give me haste. Definitely give me the ectoplasm. I think we got money to start pissing away. Give me the acid. Acid and mandrake root, baby. How much you want for these? 560? Fuck yeah, I'll take it. I don't know what's better, to not be proficient in it or be proficient in it. Then I can't cast with it. It's a good question. Alright folks, well that's going to wrap it up. Had some, uh, some good things happened and we had a tragedy happen. But that is how it works in the world of Echelon if you're not careful. Let my mistake guide you in a path of smarter save states. Smarter quick saving. And always keep a, a close backup. And watch out, don't swing your sword at barrels. Because even the strongest sword in the game can break on a shitty piece of wood. Thanks for watching.